Car insurance is so important that most states require it by law. Depending on where you live, you must have auto insurance or proof of financial responsibility before you can drive your new vehicle off the lot. However, no matter where you drive, if you cause an accident, you'll be accountable for property damages, so it pays to stay covered. Hi there, I'm Amanda Mushro, and at autoinsurance.com, we'll tell you everything that you need to know about getting your new car insured. When you buy a new car, you have two options when it comes to insurance. You can either purchase a new policy or you can transfer your existing policy to your new vehicle. If you choose to start a new policy, you'll want to shop around to find the best coverage within your budget. Even if you haven't picked a make or a model of the car that you're going to buy, you can get an insurance quote on your potential car purchase. However, if you know which car you're going to purchase, you can speed up the quoting process with the car's vehicle identification number, also known as the VIN. It's a good idea to request at least three quotes from different companies. Use the same information for each request to make it easier to compare rates directly and choose the right match for your new vehicle. Not sure where to start when it comes to getting those quotes? Well, at autoinsurance.com, we've done the work for you. Speak with one of our perfect policy connectors who can match you with the best policy for you and your budget. You'll also want to find out how your potential insurer handles claims, if it has customer service available 24-7, if it has an app and can help you save money if you bundle policies under the same insurer. We've got articles comparing different insurance companies, lists of what insurance every state requires, and tips for choosing other types of coverage that you should add to your policy. Now, if you're transferring an existing policy from your old car to your new car, all you need is proof of insurance and you can drive your new car off the lot. Insurance companies offer a grace period of 7 to 30 days to adjust your new policy after you purchase your new vehicle. During the grace period, your new vehicle is covered under your existing policy, even though the new car isn't listed on the policy yet. Also, this grace period is a great time to reassess your coverage needs and to update your budget. Then call your agent and input your new car's information. Here's a pro tip. If you are switching policies, make sure your new policy is in effect before you cancel your current policy. You never want a lapse in coverage because if you get into an accident without insurance, you will have to pay out of pocket for the damages and face legal ramifications. So what type of auto insurance coverage do you need? Again, requirements differ by state, but here are the coverages you can expect to add to your policy. Liability coverage. This covers damage or injuries to other parties in accidents where you are at fault uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage. This type of coverage takes care of your expenses if the driver that hits you is uninsured or underinsured. Medical payments coverage or personal injury protection, also known as MedPay. This pays for you and your passengers medical expenses that result from car accidents. MedPay is only available in at-fault states. Now, most states are at-fault states, which means when an accident occurs, one party is usually considered at-fault, and they are responsible for covering the injuries of the other driver and their passengers. However, in no-fault states, you'll need personal injury protection, also known as PIP. In these states, each driver's individual PIP covers their medical bills instead of the at-fault driver's insurance. PIP also covers other documented losses, such as lost wages and childcare costs. Insurance coverage requirements will vary if you are buying the vehicle, leasing it, or financing. If you're buying your car outright, you only need to meet your state's minimum coverage requirements. Since you don't actually own a car that is leased, the leaser may require more coverage than the mandatory minimums, such as comprehensive and collision coverage, until you complete the payments. Whether or not you are at fault in an accident, collision coverage will cover damage to your vehicle. 
comprehensive coverage covers all the damages not related to collisions like vandalism or auto theft. Financing a vehicle is similar to leasing, but instead of paying to drive a car, you pay to own it. A bank or a dealership may require a certain insurance limit for a finance car to ensure that you can keep paying your loan even if you get into an accident. You may want to add gap insurance. It pays the difference between what you owe on a vehicle and its actual cash value. So how much is this going to cost you? Well, the average cost to insure a new car is $1,852 annually. Now, your rates for insuring a new car may be more or less than average depending on your driver profile and the type of car you buy. There's also other factors that help insurance companies come up with your insurance rates, like the make, model, and year of your car, mileage, title and damage history, your state and zip code, deductibles, age, marital status, homeownership, your driving records, including any at-fault accidents, coverage options. The more coverage you get, the higher your rates. The provider. Different car insurance companies charge different rates for similar products and services. Gender. Except in California, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Michigan, Montana, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Credit scores except in California, Hawaii, Michigan, and Massachusetts. Vehicles will have cheaper insurance rates if they have low repair costs, strong safety ratings, or anti-theft features. And uh, here's a little FYI for you. When you purchase your new auto insurance coverage, you should list all the people who drive your vehicle regularly on your policy. Most insurance companies want all licensed drivers in your household to be on your policy so they can calculate your rates accurately. To learn more about buying a new car, head over to the new car hub at autoinsurance.com slash new car guide. It's linked in the description and you'll find lots of information about buying, insuring, leasing, and paying for your new car. Also be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We upload and post new videos every week.